How's everybody doing? This is episode two of season four. We're back. Uh, why can I hear myself in the microphone? In, in my headset. All right, I think it's gone now. Yeah, it's gone. All right. So we're back. Two episodes. We've done two episodes this season. Hopefully we can keep doing this again. The show is back on the road. Stop talking. I can I keep hearing myself like I don't know what's going Turn on. Turn it down a bit. Already. Uh, how do I? Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So we're back on the road. Like this shit, this shit, the business is booming again. Like the, the last podcast, I didn't get much views, but I'm so glad that we're back. I am so glad that we're back. We're going to do this. We're going to dedicate our lives into it. And we're going to do all that and stop twisting your head, the kid. Why am I your mom? Am I going to tell you to do shit? Like don't pick your nose. Don't twist your hair. Go brush your teeth. Well, let's just get into it. All right, let's get into it because we had a crazy fight call. Crazy. The main event was awesome. The co-main event was awesome. The co-co main event was awesome. The the first fight of the main card was awesome. We had great fights. We had talents like Makayev getting the win. We had um, Gunnar Nelson getting the submission. We had a kind of a what can I say? It was not a robbery, but a close fight with Marvin Vittoria and Roman Belize. Um, we had. Roman won. I, I, I'm going to say Roman won, won as well. But we had a great fight of a co main event. The main event was absolutely amazing. The whole fight card was absolutely awesome. What did, what did you think of the whole fight card? I love it. Yeah, I mean, I loved it. I loved it. The main event was awesome. The co-main event, that fucking fight, it was fireworks. The first round, I thought that Fizif was gonna get was gonna beat Gage, and then Gage came back. He landed the jab. That fucking jab was money. That did you see, did you see the jab? Yeah. That jab is powerful. You see a guy like Justin Gage who hits like a fucking truck and he lands that jab and you know the jab it, it it's not the fanciest punch even though it's it's the first thing you learn when you go to a boxing gym it's just there when you land it it's gonna hurt it, it hurts it's gonna bust your nose up especially with those little gloves with this four ounce gloves mma gloves so you're gonna bust your face up and a guy lands like 50 60 jabs on you your face is fucked well, and, he, and he's got that power. Do you, do you remember the Ferguson fight? When uh, he stopped him with a jab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he landed that jab, the power jab, and Ferguson kind of shook his head and the referee stopped it. So the jab was there, the uppercut was there. We saw the uppercut in the Michael Chandler fight, but the jab, man, he's got to keep using it. He, look, he uses that jab. He's going to go He's gonna go places. I don't know if he's going to be as long. I don't know if he's going to be as long. I don't know if he's going to be... Beat Oliveira or Poirier if they fight. I don't know. That's for another day to talk about. But if he does that, if he fights like that, like he did, the jab, the uppercut, and all that, he's going places, man. He's going to places. Yeah. For real. He was. Uh, he looked phenomenal. Yeah. Shut down the rising contender. Yeah. Um, moving on up in the division, maybe one fight away from a title shot again. Yeah, if he beats Poirier. Yeah, he's in If line. he beats Dustin. Islam. If he, yeah, Islam has to fight. Because who's next for Islam? The winner of Darush and Oliveira. And he's he already beats beat Poirier. Oliveira. Uh, he's wait. already beat Oliveira. I want Benny to get that title shot. 
Yeah, me too. Benny's gold. Benny's, Benny deserves a title shot. But he, the thing I think Dane is worrying about, if Islam fights Dariush, there's no star power. Yeah, kind of. Because it because Dariush doesn't talk shit. He's me Persian. Too. He's like me. He's kind of a nice guy. I'm an asshole, but I can be nice sometimes. But he, Dariush is a nice guy. He doesn't talk yeah, shit. Yeah, he's, he's a lovely guy. He talks about Jesus a lot. People, I mean, they tune in to watch his fight, but they don't, they're not going to watch the press conferences with him. Right. That's the issue of a video. He doesn't talk shit. He talks, he, he says some interesting things, but he doesn't talk shit. He doesn't generate as much pay per view points. If he fights Islam, the fight, that fight could be a co main event, or it could be a main event in Abu Dhabi. It could be. Yeah, that's when Islam, Islam wants to fight in Abu Dhabi again. Yeah, because oh. that's where he can get those, you know, sweet, sweet tickets. Because Islam, believe it or not, he's not that much of a... He's, his star power comes from Khabib, basically. Yeah. He doesn't talk shit. He talks shit, but his tra trash talk is more like confident talk. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I just... So if they're gonna put him in Abu Dhabi because he's a Muslim and he fight the Abu Dhabi Arabs Muslims and they're gonna they're gonna tune in to watch him. But Benil Benil is Persian. He's been a recent. He's gonna go in there. They're gonna cheer for him as well. Maybe maybe not. But that fight is gonna happen in Abu Dhabi because he can't sell tickets in Abu Dhabi. I don't know if he's gonna sell tickets in fucking let's say Australia again. Or if they went to fucking England, I don't know if it's gonna sell that much ticket. I mean, the English fan, they to they to it because it's UFC. Well, let's say is it gonna sell? Let's say a, a sell out a venue in let's say Salt Lake City or Southern California in Denver. They're not gonna sell out in those places. Yeah. But for Gaethje, I think if he goes and fights Poirier and beats Dustin Poirier, he's next in line for a title shot after the winner of Benil Dariush and Charles Oliveira. Did lightweight deficiency get in a lot <coughs> tastier now? Yeah, because you, cause you can oh. kind of see the old guys leaving. You, got, you see kind of like guys like Tony Ferguson leaving. Tony Ferguson, he's not retired, he's out of the rankings, I believe. You see guys like Gamrat coming up, guys like Fazeev, even though he Fazeev lost his last fight, he's coming up. Guys like Benio Darius, you know, Charles Oliveira's in there. You, you've got a kind of a mixture of the old guys and the new guys. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? See, I said this a lot last year, that while Oliveira was champion, it kind of got into the stalemate where Lightweight division was just because he's ran through Chandler, Poirier, and Gaethje. I feel like if Islam didn't get that shot, it would just be a division. Maybe we would have seen Oliveira, Volkanovski. Yeah, and with Volkanovski's ground game, who knows? Volkanovski would beat Oliveira. Yeah, if they it. fought a 280, Volkanovski's walking away with a win. Yeah, definitely. I mean, not definitely, but we've got to see how it happens. We never know. Because, well, yeah. It's anything could happen in the sport. Right? Yeah. That's why we love the sport, right? Yeah. It's a good old sport. Yeah, it's a nice one. So, the fight happens, the card happens. Gunnar Nelson. What do you think about Gunnar Nelson and a submission, though? Bro, I know he doesn't fight often, but he needs to fight more often. Yeah. Like, his last fight, I actually was there for his last fight before this. Yeah, he was there. He got a, he got a decision, though. It wasn't the most exciting fight, and people are like, now he's just beat an exciting striker by first-round submission. Yeah. His striking is phenomenal. But the only issue is, he kind of, the chin is kind of up in the air. Yeah. That's the issue with traditional martial arts. The chin is always up in the air. You know, you're standing like this, and the hands are there, and the chin is up. Yeah. 
Who who do you give Gunnar Nelson next? Um, Leon Edwards. I'm just nah, nah. <laughs> again. Robbie Lawler. Really? I thought Robbie Lawler was booked. Yeah, he's booked. Oh yeah, he's booked. Yeah, he's against booked. two. Uh, I don't know, but I just know he's booked. I don't know. That's the only. That's the issue with the UFC. I'll Unless give you. Him Good announcing against a like rank 14, 15 opponent. Like Daniel Rodriguez, he was supposed yeah, to Lee. fight. I think he was Lee supposed to fight him, didn't he? Give him, um, oh, give, him give him Ian Gary. I reckon that'll be a good fight. No, 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 no. Irish. Come on. An Icelandic man who sounds Irish. No, 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 no. It's a good on. test for Ian. It's a good test yeah. for Ian Gary, though. It's a good test. It's a good test. Do you see the uh, the video of Ian Gary, like that fan tried to attack him? No, I haven't seen it. He, he's just back. He's he's leaving the arena, and some fan just comes up to him and tries to fight him. Well, fucking idiot, I would say. Well, fucking idiot. You're gonna fight. Ian Gary after he got a fit after he got a finish. What oh fucking my. Ian Gary yeah. is going places. If he fights like that, he keeps fighting the top level opponents, top five, and top ten, and top fifteen. Like that. He's and good, he gets he's wins get, like that. He's, he's gonna, gonna get, get a ranked opponent next. He's gotta get a ranked opponent next. I don't really know the world way rankings like off of Daniel Rodriguez in Gary maybe Lee yeah. versus in Ga- Ho- Holland Holland's booked actually yeah Holland's booked um what well, what about Ian Gary Daniel Rodriguez Gordon Nelson Lee Jing Leon I would actually oh what Lee's knocking Nelson out. Who knows? Maybe Nelson can choke him out. I don't know. We we'll just have to see. Yeah, we we'll just have to see what happens. But um, let's talk about the main event. The main event, the fight that was we were all waiting for the the trilogy, and it happened, and it did not disappoint bro. at all. What a fight. What a fight that was. One of the best fights. One of the best waterweight fights ever. Yeah. Because Man. the stakes. It was the stakes, though. Yeah. It was, the stakes were so high, and Usman, he needed that win. Didn't get it. Didn't get it, though. I mean, I've got respect for Usman. you you got to respect Usman. If we're talking this time last year, Usman's getting ready. Wait, the 23, yeah. U- Usman is just circled the welterweight division. Edwards yeah. beat Was Nakia. the only guy. Was the only guy. Yeah, he... Uh, but I fought him for a championship belt. Who would have thought of all the people Leon Edwards would beat Usman twice? Yeah, who would have thought that Leon Edwards would come back? I always thought it would be Hamzak or Colby. Me too. I mean, Colby came close, but he didn't have the striking that Leon Edwards had. Leon Edwards got that striking. Edwards, Colby. Dana wants it. Edwards. We want it. The fans want it, but Leon doesn't want it. It could be publicity. It could be trash talk. Yeah? Yeah. It could be trash talk. I would, honestly, I. If I was Edwards, I'll, I'll take the Colby fight, pay per view. I'll, I'll take the Colby fight because I, lo- I, I like his chances See, against Colby. Edwards has a thought in his brain where he he wants to revenge what happened against Miles Yeah, he wants that revenge, but Miles Liddell needs a win. Against Gilbert Burns, which yeah. I think Gilbert Burns has got a, a bit too much for. Um, Miles Liddell, I saw his Instagram, he went on Joe Rogan, I'm going to go check it out Is later. He, uh, Masvidal, went on, Masvidal went on Joe Rogan. I haven't watched it. Well, I'm going to go I've watch heard, it after the show. I've heard, 
I've seen clips. Um, oh. They're talking about his Usman fight, like the second rematch, or how, how it felt to be knocked. I don't really watch Joe Rogan's podcast. I, I sometimes do because he sometimes has like, I, I watch, I watch Joe Rogan because sometimes he's got crazy guests and I love it. I don't watch it. I watch I'm going to go watch it, yeah. I'm going to go watch it, see what, see what Mazara has been saying. Yeah. I want um, to watch it. Yeah, but, yeah, well, but yeah. Like, vision is open because I feel like yeah, Usman is um, gone. Usman Usman's might not get a title shot. Usman needs to. It won't be mad if you think about this time two years ago. It would be mad if Ed, Usman was fighting in a title eliminator. Like who gives Usman ago. after this? Bell I'll Muhammad. give him the winner the, of Bala Muhammad and uh, Shafka. Shafka then. The Shaf- I mean, listen, Bala Muhammad can get it done as well. I mean, who knows? So, yeah. I think the fight we're all looking forward to this year, though, is McGregor Chandler. Yeah. Even though it's not a title fight, even though. I mean, it's a well it's, it's, it's a, it's a welterweight as well. But yeah, we'll talk about it when the time comes. But Connor needs to get into USANA testing pool first. Yeah, come on, Connor. Come on, Connor. Stop talking shit with USANA. And, and he's not training. He's training in Big Bear. Where's Big Bear? Oh, in California. Big Bear, California. Is it in California, Big Bear? Yeah. Oh, uh, he's training in Big Bear with who? John Kavanagh. Well, uh, that's what he said on Twitter last night. John, he put something like John Cavi, best coach in the game. He's probably training with some coaches, with new coaches, and he's having John Kavanagh on that. He's definitely with John Kavanagh still. I don't know, mate. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, maybe because because Connor. Every time he's going to get wrestling advice. I don't know, man. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I want him to focus on wrestling. All right. Here's here's an interesting thing. All right. Let's talk about uh, Leon Edwards, and then I saw this interesting thing. I'll tell you about. Just remind me if I forgot. Um, Leon Edwards. Who's next for Leon? If he's not fighting Kobe. Really? What? If he's not fighting Kobe, Leon, then who is he going to fight? Here we go again. There's no one. Yeah, I mean, maybe the winner of Bala Muhammad or yeah. and Shafgan, if, he, if they don't give up to Usman, or he fights Kobe, which I believe... Listen, Kobe's going to be the one of the... Look, he's going to Kobe's going to force him into this fight, I have a feeling. Yeah. And Kobe's a lucky game. bastard. I hope Kobe's a lucky bastard. He gets one win. He loses a title shot. He gets one win against the fighter who's coming off losses. And then he gets another title shot. You remember that? He, beat, he lost to Usman first time. Came in and beat... Woodley. Tyron Woodley, and then for Usman, and lost, and beat Masvidal, and now he's fighting for a title again. But it, yeah, but it's Colby. It's Colby. I love Colby Covington, and that I that he's a bit. I just love how he fights. He's just exciting. When it's Colby yeah. fight week, we're all excited because he brings yeah, in Colby every single with- time. Yeah, gotta give it to the guy. He's great. He's great to have in the UFC. Because yeah. not long ago, him and Dana were having arguments. Yeah. Because yeah. Kobe, Kobe, listen, if you are trying to play the heel, you've got to know your limits. You've got to know your limits. Kobe didn't have no limits. 
who go out there, you know, talk shit, yell at him, fuck you, fuck you, Uncle Dana, you bitch, all that. He needed to know the limits. And then when he learned about the limits, now he's cool with the UFC. And he can go on and say, fuck you, Dana, but he can text Dana later. That was just for sure. He, you've got to know your limits. There's a limit to that heel. You've got to know your limits. And he didn't know the limits. He didn't have no limits. Now he has the limits. He knows how to talk shit, when to talk shit, and all that. Uh, I'm just, I just want to get Kobe back in the octagon. Yeah. Because he doesn't fight often, though. Yeah, once a year, really, isn't it? Once a year, once every one, one and a half year. But it, listen, if he becomes champion and he wants to... It's because there's no one for him. Because uh, he's number one ranked and he's always... If so, if there's a title fight, he's always going to be the backup. Because yeah. he showed against Usman. He showed against Prime Usman. He could hang with him. Uh, I, I, I mean, you said it best. I don't know what to say as well, but Kobe, if he doesn't... If he wins the title... He cannot act like this, like once fight every one, every once in a while. No, fight if, once if a that year. happens, if he fights once a year while being champion, he'll be stripped. He'll be stripped. He's gonna have issues with the UFC and all that. Like he needs to fight more, and especially with these rough. If Hamzak comes down to one seventy, if he can actually make it. He's got to oh, fight Hamza. Hamza's not making 170. All right. Enough enough of that. Enough of the whole waterweight division because it's a fucking mess. Waterweight division needs time to figure itself out. Waterweight division needs time to figure itself out. Why do you say I want to fight? Oh, I want to see now. who's next. I want to see who's next. I want to see who's... You know, who's ready? I want to see some new guys and the old guys who are coming back. And, hello? I can see you. I can hear you. I can see you. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Right. Yeah, everything's fine. All right. So I want, I need the division to figure itself out. So we need to have contender fights. We need to have, we need to let, we need to have guys ready, like number one, two, three, four, ready, five ready, so we can have winners emerge from these fights and fight the title fight. Well, when you have a champion, like, let's say you you have the champion, like Usman, let's say he's, he beat Leon, let's say he beat Leon the, the second time, the division would have been a, a bigger mess yeah. Because he beat Kobe twice, he beat Us- he beat Masra twice, he beat let's say he he beat Leon twice, let's say that happened. What was he gonna do? Nothing. So the division needs itself to figure out it needs time to heal. I mean guys like Kobe, they need to show where they at where they're at, you know, they, they gotta show if they can hang with the top Five, if he can hang with these new guys. Usman needs to do it as well. Usman needs to show if he can be a number one contender and potentially fight a champion, you know, get his belt back and all that. All that needs to be, you know, it needs to happen. The division needs to start to heal. So, yeah. enough to the welterweight division. Let's talk about this weekend's fight, which is an absolute... Crazy fucking. The main event is, I'm excited about the main event, to be honest. The main event is so good. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's not in the apex. Fuck apex. I love apex. It's good for contender series. It's good for ultimate fighter, but it's not good for fight night. Fight night should be out there. The UFC fans... They need the fight night because yeah, you cannot just go. You cannot just go to every single you know pay per view event. 
Yeah. Right. When was the last? Oh, to be fair, Marav versus Yarm was not in the Apex. Yeah. It was in a hotel. It's quite. Yeah, funny. it was in a hotel. Yeah, it was a great. It was. It was a small crowd. You know what I'm talking about? Those yeah, it was like a couple of hundred. Yeah, a couple, yeah. maybe like a thousand, two thousand, maybe like five thousand. I don't know. Who was uh Did you see? That fight, I, don't, I forget who it was when he was making this walk in, in a hotel thing and he's high fiving all the fans and he slaps that guy's beer out of his hand. No, I haven't seen it because I, did, I missed that fight because my TV got fucked. Oh, my, I need to find out who it was. I'll send it in the group chat. Yeah, send it, send it. But yeah, I mean, this fight night, this come, upcoming fight night. Who's fighting on the co-main event, please? Can you tell me who's fighting on the Holly Holm versus... Uh, what's her name? Tiago San- Santos' wife. Oh, Yana Kuliskaya, yeah. Yeah, her. I, I always forget her name. She's coming back I, from Holly Holm. Right, let, me, let me say, so you're basically telling me that for the co-main event, I have a piss break. No, there's a really good co-co-main event. Who's on the Coco main event? Nate, the guy who beat... Oh, fuck, my memory's going. The guy who beat... Who was... Oh, fucking hell, my memory's gone. Um, The guy... Let me check, I'll check myself. The guy who beat... Oh, what? I forgot it. I forgot who you beat. He beat, like... In... Nate Landwehr, Nate Landwehr and Austin Linger, and yeah, oh my god, listen, this card is amazing, this card is amazing, you better not miss it, it's at, yeah, oh my god, God. the main event, the co-main event, I'm sorry, the, the prelims, Daniel Pereira, Tucker Lutz, Steven Peterson, Lucas Alexander, Trevin Giles, Preston Parsons, CJ Vergara. I mean, this, this card is amazing. Daniel Da Silva, Manuel Torres, Trey Ogden. Oh my God, these. Man, this this card is amazing. This card is amazing. Alex Caseras got cancelled, unfortunately. And the fight after that, the call after that, we're going to talk about it when the time comes. Right? What, two eights? Are they taking the next weekend off? Yeah. Fuck! Uh, I'm... I hate it when they take Actually, no, 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 it's sorted. I know what I'll be watching. What? Anthony Joshua's fighting that weekend. Well, the next weekend? Yeah, 1st April. Oh, yeah, good. Thank God. Thank God. I just There's some the sort of... Who's he fighting, though? Um, so Jamal Fr- Franklin or something like so, that. So basically a nobody. Yeah. So it's a tune-up fight. It's a tune-up fight. Yeah. All right, I get it. I get it. I'm going with Joshua, though. If he loses, yeah. then he's done. Yeah. All right. So predictions for this main event, this upcoming main event. I've got a feeling that Cheetah Vera might get it done. This is this is what you're gonna hear in the octagon. Bruce Buffer announces 48-47 San Egan. 48-47 Ferrer. 48-47 the winner by split decision, Marlon Ferrer. I don't know, man. I, I'd uh, love to see Corey Sanhagen win, though. Yeah, I'd love to see him win I as well. I love Corey Sanhagen. I love him, too. I mean, the, gra- the, the striking is phenomenal. Yeah, the striking is phenomenal. And, and, and it, it's a big factor for him, isn't it? He yeah. could just touch and go. Touch, touch, touch. 
get out of the way, touch, 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 get out of the way. He's going to be careful with the kicks of Marlon Miller. Yeah, I, right. The front kicks, the head kicks, all of that. Well, e- even in the Marlon Cruz fight, Cruz was winning the rounds, but he would get dropped every single round. Yeah. I'm really... The same thing, the same thing with Marlon Vera for um, uh, Rob Font. Yeah. Lose the rounds and then get a knockdown. Yeah, it's, it's quite big. It's a great fight. I mean, if Stan Hagen wants to win, he needs to touch and go. Touch go, and go and go. use the grappling. Use the grappling. Touch and go, use the grappling. Touch and go, use the grappling. If Marlon wins... Who do we give him? Marab, Sean O'Malley. I'd say we give him. I'd say we give him Sean O'Malley. Yeah, same. I'd say we give him Sean O'Malley I've because been waiting for this rematch for three years. Give it. Yeah, time. it needs to happen. It needs to happen, man. Crazy to I, think. I missed the first fight. To be honest, I missed the pay per view that night. I felt I got. I was really tired. I came home from work. I was really tired and. I, and I slept, I was like, fuck it, it's, fuck it, I've got to sleep, I'll watch it tomorrow morning. One of the greatest, it was alright, God. Yeah. yeah, it was a great fight, but, I've got to tell you, I guess we're not going to talk about fights anymore, my prediction for this main event, if Sad Hagen can touch and go, and can use his grappling effectively, I'm going with Sad Hagen, <clears throat> excuse me. But if he cannot touch and go, if he cannot use his grappling, then I'm going with Cheetah. We'll see, man. I feel like if Marlon doesn't get any knockdowns, Corey Sad Hagen wins. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, one thing I forgot. Do you, do you remember the, the interesting thing I told you? To remind me, and you never did? No. All right. So I saw a post on Instagram. Michael Chandler, he lost with a decision to a knockout artist. He got knocked out by a submission specialist. He got choked by a striker in Dustin Poirier. So maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just putting it out there. He's gonna get a wrestle fuck by Conor McGregor. I'm just putting and it out. Gonna there. Sub him. I'm just putting it out there. Remember just your mad, it out there. Remember your mad dream about like Conor McGregor against Poirier Free. Like what was it? Guilty yeah. McGregor, and he nearly yeah. did. I was like, when he was. When you had it, he had it really tight for a second. And I was like, oh yeah. my God. And then he just, poor A's little rubber ears slipped out. Yeah. Well, do you remember though? Do you remember? Yeah, there's a video saying that Connor, if he even tries a submission, you owe me 20 bucks. I still That's got that video. All right. Uh, send me that video in the group chat. And then I'll. Uh, uh, We'll, we'll come to an agreement. Yeah, I'll send it to you tomorrow. I'm going to find it. But I, jo- I remember there, there is a video. There is a video. I said if he goes even for a submission, I'm, he owe me 20 bucks. And he did. So if you twice. don't know what to do. He went for it twice. Just before. Yeah. And so you owe me 40 bucks. There was some guy on Instagram a couple of hours before the fight. And he was like, oh, McGregor's going to break his own leg. I, I told you, that was me. No, it was you. Because I remember you saying that. You said he'll break his leg or gun to choke. Or, and the other guy said that. And you also said something about the autism. I had a dream. I had three dreams. I had three different dreams. Right? So the first dream that I had, I mean, it's crazy. You guys might not believe it. I don't believe it. I don't believe it myself. The first one, the first night, it was about two weeks, three weeks before the fight. It was right after we talked, we met. Yeah. Um, I had a dream and it went like this. 
I was in the octagon and Connor got his hand raised. Buffer said the winner by submission, guillotine, choke, Connor McGregor. The second dream that I had, it was, I was in the crowd and the, I was standing right here and there was a version of me. I used to dye my hair blonde. I used to have blonde hair back in the day. I used to dye my hair blonde. And there was the blonde me standing next to me, not blonde, it was like brownish, telling me, like everybody went crazy and I asked myself, I was like, what happened? And he goes, somebody broke their leg. Just that was exactly like that. Yeah. That and, was and, he, and he goes, somebody broke their leg. I didn't say who, I just said somebody broke their leg. And then a night before the fight, I saw McGregor sitting there with his left, was it the left leg or the right leg? It was the right leg, I believe. Yeah, it was right, right leg or left it leg. Was, it was yeah, broken. With the leg oh. broken, I was like, my God, I did, and I told you, you know, and I was like, man, it really happens, and it happened. And I had it in my mind because I knew that Conor was going for the low kicks. Yeah. And yes, he had stress fractures before the fight. Yeah. And it's actually, before, it's not an excuse because there is photos of it. Yeah. Fuck. All right. So that was a dream that I had. I don't like talking about that. I, al- I also had, I didn't have a dream, but I also had a vision that Kamaru Usman was going to knock out Jorge Masvidal. Yeah, you did say that. Oh. On the in the second day, round. In the second it, round, yeah. I swear to God, you had a dream also about Glover and Yeri Rodriguez. Yeri Prohaska, yeah. yeah. Uh, what was it? Um, oh, yeah. You, you said Yeri's going to be walking away and uh, Glover's going to be flat on his face. And he was. And he was. And I said that we were going to be confused. For a couple seconds, we were confused. Yeah, right? we were. We're like, what? we were confused. Like, I was like, what happened? What did he tap to? The com- the, com- the commentary was like, what happened? And for they took it took him a couple seconds. Uh, mystic. I'm, I'm I'm kind of a mystic man myself. <laughs> the Masvidal thing was the Masvidal thing was I was riding on my motorcycle. I didn't know how to drive. My, I didn't know how to drive a car back then. I was driving the motorcycle. Do you, do you see when you when you go on Google and you search UFC, a kind of page comes up and it shows on the card? Yeah. So I saw that image with Usman's picture going green, and under it it says KO second round, KO TKO second round. I was I was about to take a U turn to go pick up my mom. I think she was that she was at the mall buying shit. And then I was going to go pick her up, and I was doing a U-turn. I was thinking about the fight, and then it just happened. And I was like, please don't let it happen. Please don't let it happen. Please don't let it happen. And it happened. So, yeah, I'm kind of a mystic man myself. Mystic angel, you want to put it that way. That was my nickname, the Archangel. Someone gave it to me, legit. I'm not a big fan of it. All right. So, yeah, that's it for the day. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. It's been awesome, man. I'm gonna take this headphones yeah. off because it's fucking up my hair and my ear hurts. I don't know why my ear hurts. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be back next week around the same time. Thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you for everything. Um, we'll see you next week. Bye. See ya. Bye bye.